All right, Mike, we'll start with Miles. First start in a week. Another very efficient outing for him today. Very efficient outing. I'm glad you started there, Erica. Um, you know, clearly he's good through five. You know, had a couple balls on each line that got him. Leadoff walk, started that inning. But other than that, it was super good. Had it all his pitches going, throwing in, um, up, down, everything working in a tight ball game. Uh, made a decision to hit for him that, um, you know, could have been could have been a different decision, different ball game. Can you go through that decision? What factors you're weighing? Yeah, so, um, you know, you're looking at it, and you've got um, – a little bit of the, the circumstances with the conditions of the field. You know, I can sit here and spin it and say, you know, we didn't score any more runs since then, and that was our chance. And um, reality is, if you look at chances of our proposition, um, maybe could have made a better decision at that point. And, of course, you're looking at it in hindsight. You, um, you have told myself to look at this from a manner in which to uh, manage from aggression, but still making sense. And I feel like we've done that. Um, we had a shot there with Jed to, to get the lead. Um, there's a plan in place to, to with that lead, um, you know, get to the end of the game with guys that are still fresh, you know, with Michael and Jordan and, and Bud. Um, and again, with looking at a low-scoring game, um, you know, didn't work out. You know, Miles threw well, could easily ran him back out there and give us a better chance maybe to, to get him a little deeper and scratch another run across somewhere else. Mike, when you talk about managing from aggression, you're talking about offensively? Uh, just in general, managing what you see, and, and again, aggression may be a little strong, but um, you know, managing um, with with scenarios that make sense, and uh, you know, and, and not managing scared to, to pull a trigger or see and trust what you see and do, and um, you know, uh, in that case, it was that was an aggressive move that, you know, like I say, it changes our proposition. You're looking at. Um, you know, maybe maybe the fifth probably a little early for that, or the sixth a little early for that. Probably just one inning too early. And you know, I know he left one inning on the table with Miles with 74 pitches, um, and his spots, you know, going to come up. You know, if he if you know if he goes back out, his spots coming up the next inning. So we're probably going to have to do something for him in a, in a tight game. So just hedging one inning for, you know, a chance to take a lead, and, and uh, you know, it didn't work out. It's the second time in two days that you've had Myers face Schwarber a guy who doesn't have a home run against lefties this season and strikes out a lot against lefties. Right. Your choice not to go to a lefty either time. Yeah, I mean, it's really more about, at that point, it's a commitment to Myers for multiple innings. So, you know, he showed the ability yesterday to come in, and, and he's shown the ability at a lot of times this season to go through both sides of the lineup. Um, so it really wasn't a matchup situation. That's a little later. That's a different scenario. But where we are in that, in that sixth inning, knowing he's probably going to go back out get that seventh inning, unless we have to hit for him, um, really wasn't a matchup scenario. So does the recent performance of the lefties, I mean, even today, yesterday, lines, Brett both struggle, but that doesn't play? Yeah, no, I mean, it plays into it, just didn't play into it at that moment, you know, because I mean, that was that was Michael's spot, and, um, you know, he, he was, and he came in sharp, throwing a you know, good velocity, sharp breaking ball, and, you know, he didn't make a pitch where he wanted to, and Schwarber put a swing on it. You're going into Cincy where they have lefties. Do you, right. Do you, Need one of those guys to be that? Yeah, absolutely. We, you know, we, you know, look, we need those guys, and, and I'm, you know, still optimistic for them um, that they're going to go out and get opportunities to get guys out. I mean, that's that's one of the reasons they're down there. So, um, you know, clearly that's going to be something we look for them to be able to do. You talked about kind of reinvesting in Dexter. Um, did you kind of have the same approach with some of the guys in the bullpen who have had ups and downs throughout this year? Maybe like a fresh start for guys like Cecil and Holland? Yeah, and that gets back to what I was saying a little bit about. Um, to some degree, dovetailing in the aggression part, I wanted to, um, you know, I'm a confidence guy in players, and that wasn't a knock against, you know, Miles in that situation because clearly I, we got confidence in him. Um, but it's also confidence in other guys, and, and it's a 25 man roster that, um, you know, we feel and I feel confident in. And it's just a matter of, um, you know, putting guys in spots. Is that the best spot, you know, all things considered? Potentially not, but it was a spot that you can justify easily. You know, you know, to hit for a guy and get a lead um, on a day that's tough to score some runs. So, you know, it's a combination of factors. And, and having confidence in Dex is, is look, Dex had confidence in himself. You know, he's a good player. So I'm glad you brought him up because he took really good swings, drove the ball in the gap. You know, ball in the last inning hit hard. Um, so a lot of positive things happening with Dex and a lot of guys in that clubhouse. There's a lot of guys that had big series this weekend, but. Gyro is a guy who maybe was a little under the radar, but makes that incredible catch today. He's got a face lot this weekend. I mean, that's a big spot for him to show up too. This 
showed up's the right word for for Jairo Munoz. I mean, he did. He showed up big time. Um, both sides of the ball on the bases, super engaged, super aggressive. Uh, great play there, you know, to help us get an out in the eighth. And um, yeah, it took some, took really tough at bats. You know, we start we start Dexter earlier in the game, and um, he takes a tough at bat with two strikes. Get to you know, you know, scratch a run across there, and um, yeah, I'm glad you brought Jairo up because he, he really had a nice series, played well. Going back to the first, they come out with the four outfielders against uh, Carpenter. Right. And he lays down the bunt, takes advantage, you get a run out of it. It's, that, is, is that something that um, you know you like to see, just taking advantage of the defense? Um, it says a lot of things about Matt Carpenter. What a teammate! I mean, he goes out and, and he's on clearly a streak of consecutive games with a home run. In his first inning, he's going to go out there and lay a bunt because that's what the uh, opposition gives us. And we talk about seeing the game and playing the game, and that was a great example of that and gets us on the board with a run early. Um, so, you know, as far as the outfield shift goes, I mean, I don't think it's really helped him a whole lot in this series unless they can put somebody in the bleachers. <laughs> <laughs>